Welcome back to Animal Parade. It's the second year and the end of the LP is on the horizon. So we've got a lot of loose ends to tie up, along with a whole lot of babies to birth. Of course. It's the way it goes. All your friends get married and then their Facebooks get impossible to look at. What's the gestation time for human babies in Animal Parade? Fucking instant. Okay. It's like Fable 2. You stick it in, the baby comes out. <laughs> It's a matter of weeks. I think it's two weeks. They must be rodents. In fact, the child grows up, like, by the hour. It's mildly disconcerting. Nah, uh, I, I bet what happens is these, these animal parade people, like, they have a lot of natural predators. <laughs> so instead of having huge litters of babies, they just have babies really fast in hopes that one will stick. Ah, uh, okay. Like, you don't visually see the baby growing, but the second it's born, the parents already talked about their laughing and talking and shit like that you need to wait a year, maybe? Um, that, yeah, I don't know anything about babies. When, when does it come out of its pod? <laughs> That's like another two weeks. My working theory is that these people have been fucking on the sly for months. Uh... I, mean, I guess there's nothing to do during those long... Um... Carry the three... Summer... Weekends? Right. Yeah. You know. God, that is... That is just a hideously ugly baby. <laughs> it's just a face and a bean. So, we just went through an entire winter of shotgun marriages. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And one more on the way. It's a poor town, though, so they had to share the shotgun. Absolutely. It's not even loaded, but everyone pretends. Oh, here you go, Hank. It's your turn. It's gold-plated. It's a celebratory thing. What do you have to say? Your husband died before he had babies. Wow! Ah, oh, witch princess! Bite in your style, witch princess. Hang on, she always gives me shit when she comes over. Aha! Welcome to the 7th annual meeting of the Pointy Floppy Hat Society. I've discovered you can also wear them as pants. Puff. For God's sake, best, if you have raspberry juice, give it to her. She's <laughs> got blood in her eyes. Even the game is desperate. Just give her what she wants, she's horrible. Otherwise, we have to render her pouting and ugh. Oh yeah, we have adorable silkworms. You pretty much get the exact same cutscene for all of these. They share the rattle too. Pretty much. It's a very poor town. Where are they gonna get plastics from? Come on. All right, finally have a baby. I can't wait to put her to work in the shop. Oh, come on, it'll be at least five weeks before you can do that. <clears throat> <laughs> That's right. Going through a little puberty myself, apparently. Well, it's funny you should mention because I'm currently farting shamrocks. Pass the salt. Uh, performance is not indicative. I screwed that up entirely. Someone else make a joke. God, it just kills me every time that that table saw doesn't have a fucking outfeed table. It is, it's on the other side of the room. Oh, perfect, yeah. They just let go and let it shoot the wood across. <laughs> They'll do it too, man. 
There's also a bin for catching all the fingers. Well, I mean, that's just... That's just keeping the shop tidy. Yeah, I don't want fingers all over the place. Bleeding and rotting. Somebody would slip on him. Coming to life, strangling your cats. You should put that in milk. And feed it to the baby. Right. Well, we'll be ready for solid food in two days. <laughs> <laughs> and cannibalism in three. Our energetic new son. Come see our energetic new son. He's a standard weight. <laughs> His name is Van. We're hoping he'll grow up to be really fat and a merchant. Alternately, we're hoping he grows up to have great gas mileage. He's gonna grow up and marry a brown-eyed girl. Or be an artist in a sequel nobody asked for. Why are there so many vans in Harvest Moon? Because I got a discount on fleet vehicles. <laughs> I didn't... <laughs> you haven't even started calculus yet. Oh my god. I didn't come here to talk about your undernourished baby. <laughs> My son is having trouble learning. I'm going to harass him. Are you sure he didn't just birth a brick? <laughs> He doesn't laugh that much, doesn't cry that much. Doesn't talk. Kind of rectangular. Light red. Hey, you want a real pain in the ass, Kingfish? Yes. Catch one, please. Right now. As always, you need to stand in that exact spot in order for this one to show up. That's some good looking riverbank there. Okay. So you got a meter long Dorado. Way to go. It's very hard to figure out the exact positioning, but this is how I got it. Like, standing from that post. Five steps over, one step forward. And then a lot of failed attempts. The idea is, you can see there's some black triangles in the water. And you basically want it in the position where it's just above and to the right of the uh, left triangle. Okay. And that's where the Dorado is. It has to be in spring, I think. Yeah. So now this is an informational LP. Man, there was something oddly insulting about that. Hi, it's me, a weasel. Are you cooking a fish? I'm kind of like an otter. Give me a fish. Oh, it's just me, a weasel. If I was a ferret, I'd be illegal in this town. Oh. <laughs> Final wedding. At long last. Then we gotta go meet their idiot children. Ah, <laughs> oh, take your fucking hat off. You're in a church. Well, it's okay. She's wearing sneakers, so it's about even. Son of a biscuit! Why are these two so casual? That's just a white skater dress from Kohl's. Holy. It's alright, I'm Seek. Calvin and Hobbes. With his expression and how much he's breathing, he looks very nervous. 
Okay, he's on the verge of a full-on panic attack. It's okay, man. Do you need us to get you a brown paper bag here, or...? That's my hat. Oh. One of those special weighted blankets. While I watch with my special eyes. <laughs> okay, they twisted the head. For a second I thought the hat would, like, bend across her forehead. Nice. No, it just goes right through. You know, like when goons make out. It goes right through. Yeah, there's uh, there's a lot of clipping. <laughs> All their fedoras get locked, and then you know they have to go <laughs> to the hat hospital. Becomes a fight for dominance. I bet Perry's getting real tired of having to sweep those stairs up. <gasps> He just vacuums it up, and then they use that for the next wedding. <laughs> Dust and all. Got one of those old ones with the reverse switch on it. <laughs> Got me some cocoa. Gonna make a shit ton of chocolate. Oh, uh, yeah. Gil's not looking crazy happy right now. That's his focused face. Oh! <laughs> Needs to be very sure he waters this one square. He's intent on a very slowly... Picking crops. Chocolate fondue. Yes. That looks more like a marshmallow than bread. That I approve. I approve of that. Do people still do fondue now or well, I haven't eaten dinner yet, and I know what I want. <laughs> A pot of melted cheese. And some bread. I could do with a Welsh rare bit, actually. Right now I'm just catching up on all the recipes that I didn't get first time through. Because I didn't grow enough cocoa and hot peppers. I think that was just hot sauce and, like, milk. Yeah. How do you wake up in the morning? <laughs> Reluctantly. <laughs> you should try a little bit of Tabasco milk, it's delicious. You gotta drink it fast though, otherwise it curdles. Wait, th does it curdle or do you curdle? Well, first one, then the other. Oh, okay. It curdles, then parts of you curdle. Mmm, chocolate cookie. Those look burned. I love a biscuit. Chocolate pie. Mm, I'm getting real hungry, guys. Let's go have dessert. Alright, just open a P.O. box and I'll mail you some cookies. Hell yeah. It's not quite all the recipes, though, I don't think. I don't think you've made chocolate ice cream. You are correct. I don't think you've made a chocolate cocktail. I did complete the crop list, though. Wow, congratulations, buddy. Um, who's this guy? You're a real farmer now. Just like me, where my whole farm was dying. He's the one who has a bad relationship with his wife. Uh, okay. No, I don't. That clears it up completely, and that's a little sad. Yeah. <laughs> our oh, treasure. treasure. Oh, boy. Look what came out of our baby. Wow. I miss the snowman. Couldn't he be our baby? I'd love a baby that poops perfect eggplants. I mean, I'm just call me. <laughs> now meet our little treasure. All right. Now we have the gold dipping ceremony. Hooray! Well, I wasn't nervous, that's just how I relax. <laughs> it's a little corny, but I had my baby's feet bronzed. I, too, am sitting up. 
<laughs> I mean, you do have to think of the development of a child's mind. <laughs> Gil totally Facebooked you. Oh, I wish you could feel the <laughs> bliss that I feel right now with this tiny blessing. Hashtag motherhood, hashtag blessed. <laughs> Gil is the fucking worst now. Please contribute to my GoFundMe for my child. Yeah, that's right. We're trying to get into a really good preschool. $700 baby shoes don't buy themselves. <laughs> Gil's like, I'm becoming a mommy blogger, so... Really appreciate it if you could, uh, you know, subscribe or whatever the fuck you do to mommy bloggers. That isn't ignoring them. <laughs> Burn them at the stake? Well, I mean... You gotta make a living somehow, right? Yeah, by burning people at the stake. Ah, right. Sorry, I forgot that you were Lord High Executioner, Yami no Senshi. Of mommy bloggers. Of course, yeah. It's a niche job, but it's always in demand. What do you call your version of the Malleus Maleficorum? Wait, what the fuck is going on? No, oh no! Oh no! No, please! <laughs> enough miracle for one day <laughs> we can only make fun of babies so fast holy shit no Gale please I don't need you to be a doula <laughs> I mean he could numb me maybe uh, it looks like they gave him something for the anxiety <laughs> <laughs> I'll take one of those epidurals please Holy shit, this epidural is amazing. How many Xanax was I supposed to take? Twelve? Why the fuck am I doing magic? Why couldn't I just have drugs? Okay, now give birth to the rest of the child. She'll be a, a healthy sacrifice. Amazing. <laughs> I'm happy. A name. Fuckhead. Well, I thought about this for a little bit. Fuckhead! And I wanted something kind of like a combination of... Best and Gale. So what would be the best kind of Gale? Bagel! <laughs> <laughs> also a good name. I went for something more exciting, though. Blast! Look, <laughs> a little girl blast. <laughs> oh, my little angel blast! I think she's gonna grow up to be a Pokemon trainer. I think she's gonna grow up to do roller derby. That's okay, have you seen some of those women? They're scary. The name's Blast. Blast Mediocre. <laughs> Raise the child gently. She'll be a gentle blast. <laughs> Just a gentle blast. <laughs> She'll be a hair dryer. She's a gentle blast, like you do to annoy a cat. <laughs> 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 when you had Chipotle right before an important meeting. <laughs> you gotta make the gentle blast, otherwise you blow yourself into a prolapse. <laughs> yep, just briefly pick up the baby. Yep, that's all you need to do. Sometimes the baby will cry, and if you have a rattle, you can shake it. And like, for the rest of the day, the baby will be giggling. Huh. And it's really annoying. <laughs> But yeah, while the child is growing up, it's just going to lie in the crib. You can pick it up, and that will increase uh, your relationship with it, but there's nothing else you can do right now. What you need to do is wait a couple of weeks, and every couple of weeks there will be a cutscene as the child develops, at which point Gail will ask what they should do next with the child, and each decision you make will eventually decide the personality of your child. Okay, what you do is you get one of those little carrying baby Bjorn things and strap it to fuckhead. <laughs> hellhole! Hellhole! Sorry, hellhole. I, I, I get my animals. I mean, you can strap it to the chicken. Unfortunately, Gunther is extremely jealous of the baby and will try and peck it. Okay, fine. Well, then... Hellhole can take a turn in the baby Bjorn. <laughs> Come on, Hellhole. A baby, a baby, what should I do? 
Peppers? Peppers? Would a baby go good with peppers? Hellhole has nothing to say about the baby. Wah. God damn it, shut up about the Harvest King. But it's the end of days. Bring the baby to the summit and begin the ritual. <laughs> okay, I need to talk about how fucking relieved I was to find that swordfish. Congratulations. I can see you're doing the standard video game dance. The thing is, the only guide I could find has the location completely wrong. They have it said that you need to go to the beach that's on the opposite side of where I am right now. You actually need to go up onto this little cliff that faces out towards the boat. Oh. And you can catch a swordfish from there, I think, any day at any time. And that, I think, was the last recipe. It was the last fish I was missing, and it's one of the last two recipes I'm missing. I was quite happy. So wait, there is no chocolate cocktail? <laughs> Which is weird because there are actual chocolate cocktails. Absolutely. Happy birthday, Toby. I mean, they're great because, you know, you know if you see one, you're in the wrong bar. They're great because you know that this blind date was a fucking mistake. It's like someone poured a red flag into a glass. <laughs> <laughs> or you just brew Baileys. I mean, I guess, but... Baileys, milk, co cookies, and cream, ice cream, put it in a blender. Sure, why not? You animals. My friend's called it diabetes. Yeah, fair enough. Jesus Christ, why not just order scotch? You know? It's easy. They can't fuck up scotch. <laughs> His name is Roy. He killed a cat. Can't believe they gave birth to a Belmont. That's something you might notice. When you have a child, the music changes. At least in your house and in your barns. I feel like the child music is awfully triumphant and happy. Well, you have achieved your biological imperative. Yeah. I'd like to sell a mature goat, please. For business or pleasure? Oh, well, dealer's choice. <laughs> Thank you for not selling Skip E or Yam E. Yes, I am. I don't want to be sold again. No. In fact, I'm going to get more silkworms. George. Yosh E. Yosh! Rip. And finally, Big T E. Big T Smalls. Now, there is also an animal trophy, but I am missing the horses. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Holy shit. Either I was listening to Brian Eno or this episode of the Adam Buxton podcast where he's a guest. It was probably the MGMT song, actually. And those are the last two animals, a foal and a horse. I mean, there's not enough room to put Sarah Jessica Parker. <laughs> Take a look, Toss. Okay, Kathy. Okay, so in the next episode, they're all going to ask you to babysit. But I need to watch my kid. Well, that means the only answer is that hellhole babysit everyone. <laughs> and 
And that's everyone, that's every baby's first words. Meh. And that's how the entire town's worth of babies drowned. They're, they're just like, they're all just milling around in there, and then all of a sudden, like, a sea lion <laughs> pops up and drags one off. Yep, it's the stork. Chloe, how fucking old are you? You should know better. 24. Where is it? Oh, there's the baby, and there's the horse. Stube. Hi, Stube. Yeah, Stube! I cannot be bothered to grow them up to rideable age. But now that I have them, I can get the animal trophy. Stop eating the nothing. Oh, I guess they were asleep. It is after midnight. Well, maybe if you fed me, I'd have something to eat, asshole. Hello, Yolanda. I'm a farmer. I'm always up early. Well, technically I'm up late, but what do you want? Got all the recipes. You seem so incompetent. Speaking of fondue. Ah, the golden fondue. Made of real melted cheese. Oh, and another baby. Great. A baby! It's not even ours. Dakota, because of fucking course it is. <laughs> I wonder who won that coin toss. They did that thing where they count down from three, and they both say what baby name they want, and they both said Dakota. <laughs> I've completed a lot of things, man. Kind of the best. Made from an actual gilded miniature pony. Oh, little cutie. It's still alive in there. That means the only trophy I'm missing now is the flower trophy. Because I didn't grow a begonia in summer. Oh. <laughs> Listen to that music, it's so happy. We're so happy to have a crying, shitting, pissing ball in our house. Yeah, but enough about Gale. <laughs> <laughs> Stop giggling. I thought you were supposed to be a gentle, shy baby. No, that's how we're gonna raise her. It's like a Clive Barker game in your house now. <laughs> we just stole her from the neighbors. Wait, wasn't that a Nicolas Cage movie? <laughs> You're thinking of Arizona. No. Oh. <laughs> All right, so challenge for the viewers. Yeah. Based on all the references I've made, how old am I? <laughs> oh. I think it might actually be possible to get close because I've made a lot of dated references. <laughs> All this digging and sawing. Had to get the backhoe and the jaws of life. And then finally we got to the hospital. And they had that 50 gallon barrel of lube that they get on, you sell on Amazon that you link your friends as a joke. Wait, that was a joke? I thought that'd be really useful. Oh well, she came out like a shot. <laughs> Kapow! 
literally left a dent in the far wall. <laughs> Fucked up the fridge. I don't need any of you anymore. At this point, I had well decided what I wanted to accomplish with the LP. I sure as hell didn't need any horses anymore. But I could use a cow. <laughs> I don't I don't know what goes through my head when I'm naming these things. Okay. Cause there's not enough space for Jiggly Jacob. Oh, gotcha. Dude. Stooby doo and doob. This is the episode where you just stop giving the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> Look, all these children have got baby talk on my mind. Hello, everyone, look at my weird baby. I looked at your weird babies. Look, man, if you won't come to the baby, I'll bring the baby to you. Oh. I'm, I'm gonna use that line next time folks show off their babies to me. And be like, thank you for showing me such a lovely baby. Then I'll get really offended when the baby doesn't shake my hand, like a gentleman. <laughs> or engage you in a lively <laughs> game of canasta. Right? Seriously. I told you, we need a fourth per bridge and this baby can't even sit up. Oh my god, it's like four days old already. I like the camera angle there. It's just like Julius was being interviewed and his eyes covered to protect his innocence. <laughs> I don't want to be filmed. There are no innocents. I also love children, though I can't really eat a whole one. <laughs> yeah, how much do babies sell for? Because these things last forever. Yeah, I mean, you gotta finish that shipping log, man. <laughs> well, after that, we now have two parts before the end of the LP. We're in the home stretch. Wow. You know, just, just keep your attention. I don't know what's in it. Last episode's got a real ominous name. So ominous. It's kind of scary. I'm looking at it right now and it's scaring me a little bit. <laughs> I didn't even know you could do that with a blender. Right? This game is intense. It doesn't even count as a recipe. That's, that's the crazy thing.